Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Manoj. Uh, I lead the SAS and the tools engineering uh, team at Nutanix. Uh, so before we really get into the customer experience journey and the identity server journey that Nutanix had, uh, I want to give a brief overview of a company. Um, cool. So I'm not sure how many people in the room know about Nutanix, actually. Have you heard about Nutanix? Not really, okay. So <laughs> the company was founded around seven, year, uh, seven years ago uh, in the Silicon Valley uh, by three co-founders. Um, what's our mission? Our mission is to make uh, data center invisible. And what do I mean by really data center invisible, actually? Today's uh, data center technology is built on a lot of hardware, so virtualization, networking competence, a lot of things together. So we want to make that invisible, right? So what we do uh, is we have an appliance which is called hyperconverged appliance. What it does is it has storage, virtualization, compute, and the network component all inbuilt into a, a device. And then you have an intelligent software layer that sits on top of it, actually. So you really don't need a lot of storage admins uh, or data center operators and all those things. So we are one of the fastest growing technology companies in the Valley. Uh, I joined the company around three years ago. We were 300 people. After three years, we are close to 2,400 employees right now, just went public five, five months ago. Um, we have over 4,000 customers, and over in 90, uh, we have a presence in uh, 90 uh, countries and six continents. Uh, you can Google about the founders. It's an interesting story how they have uh, come up with this ar architecture. We compete with uh, big uh, vendors, uh, you know, uh, like the HPs of the world, uh, the Cisco's of the world. So. Um, this is one of the fascinating technologies uh, if you look at Gartner, hyperconvergence. You know? That's about Nutanix. Um, so uh, the theme of the conference here is uh, you know, a digital transformation. Often the customer experience is the last mile of a digital transformation. You, know? you tend to do a lot of uh, business operation automation within the company, but you have your customers' partners. In order to be a successful company, you need to have that ecosystem truly built. Um, so what are the challenges when we try to solve the identity and access management issues at Nutanix, right? Um, so we have a lot of siloed portals. Uh, because of the speed at which business is growing, people build their own portals. A lot of siloed, the same customer is identified multiple ways, uh, having different identities, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a standard problem in most of the companies, actually. So a non-standard and insecure you know, authentication authorization mechanism, no standard protocols or anything. Um, a proprietary technology, right? One which is just not very open. Uh, it doesn't, cannot extend it because you don't have a proper API framework, right? Uh, and a lot of increased and duplicated development effort. Uh, bottom line, you don't know what a customer and partner is doing, right? Uh, you're kind of lost, basically. What are they doing? Because you don't have a proper identity for your customer, you know? Um, so we use WSO Identity Server to solve uh, one of these problems. So here is a high-level architecture I didn't... Uh, I try to make this architecture pretty simple. So at the bottom, you have a highly available uh, identity server. Uh, it is geo, uh, it's uh, load balanced across multiple regions for high redundancy. We build an intelligent uh, API layer, right? And we have all the APIs exposed, uh, user management, tenant management, we do multi-tenancy, user management, service provider, identity provider. All these APIs are uh, layered on top of it. Um, the reason being, we also don't want to really couple to a technology, right? So you want to abstract your APIs over top of any technology you build, no matter if it's open source, proprietary, whatever. Um, it's a pretty simple architecture principle, actually. Now you go back and we have our own entire on the system. We call it the MyNutanix. That's where you identify, come, and register, right? You get access to all other service providers. On top, you have our service providers, right? A customer portal. Customer comes and opens up a case. We do intelligence there. The partner portal, any deal registration that the company does goes through that. The same partner can open a case. Um, we, have our, uh, we have a community edition which is open source. So we use WSO to do uh, authenticate uh, through basic auth over a TLS. So we know who is actually using our open source product, right? So uh, prospecting uh, new customers there. Uh, we have a training. And we have a lot of other things which are in development. So if you look at the stack of the technology, we use standard OAuth 2. Uh, we use OpenID Connect uh, with JWT tokens. Uh, SAML 2.0, some of the applications use uh, just-in-time provisioning of user. 
Um, the, the more newer features we have started using is uh, MFA, multi-factor authentications. So we have an integration with Twilio, SMS-based uh, multi-factor authentication. Uh, we also integrate with our partner through ADFS Federation feature of the identity product. Uh, Multi-tenancy is a feature that we are working on. Every customer, like the, uh, what uh, uh, Pavan told actually, every customer has their own tenant. They have their own roles, isolated. Um, we're also trying a new concept of service-based authentication, right? Service accounts where you can use certificates to authenticate, and the service accounts are created in the, within the identity server. So two services, uh, no human interaction, any two services can talk to each other. So certificate, public PK uh, system, actually. So that's a high-level architecture uh, as far as uh, what we have built. So benefits, so what are the ultimate benefit of doing this? Uh, as a young company, we f figured that if you do this right, a lot of the pain points are already alleviated, right? Now all our customers, partners, and prospects have single user experience across all these things, actually. So we clearly know what a partner or a customer or a prospect is doing across our Nutanix landscape. Open source, we obviously wanted a product which was open source, we can extend, you know? That was one of the key requirements. Not many open source identity products in the market today, actually. Um, highly scalable and availability. Scalability, uh, when we started this project two years back, we had around 1,000 users in our user store. Today we are 100,000, so 10x increase in two years, actually. Availability, fairly good availability, I think I would say almost 399.9 .9 availability for all our systems, you know, from an identity point. Uh, of course, it supports standards, uh, standard protocols. We wanted SAML, 2.0, OAuth, OpenID, Scheme, JWT. Speak what, right? A uh, lot of these are uh, supported by the IS out of box, actually. Uh, Multi-factor authentication, I think it supports uh, both Google Authenticator and uh, SMS. We use the SMS approach today. Uh, we might also go with the soft token approach. Uh, identity federation, integrating with your customer's AD so they can use their AD credentials and log into your portal, right? A cool feature because sometimes people don't want to store their username password in our user store, you know? Um, Multi-tenancy and tenant management. We have a list of APIs that we use for all our tenant management capabilities. We use Managed Cloud from WSO2 and uh, they provide excellent support, you know. Uh, bottom line, I think we are a happy customer. We have a bunch of happy customers, partners, and we ourselves have been pretty happy with two years journey with the identity server, you know. I think that's all I have.